Hey there dudes, I hope you're having a super fantastic day. It is Sunday, happy Sunday. I hope you've done something to promote self-care within yourself or some self-love, whatever that might be. Today for my little flow to help you guys through this stressful time, I wanted to do a flow that will help you with insomnia or with if you're having trouble getting to sleep. At least these are some moves that have personally helped me get to sleep. If they don't work for you, then I'm sure we can find something else that works for you, but you know, these are the ones that worked for me. So try them out and just remember that a lot of the times we just have to try and clear our mind to help us get to sleep. And the easiest way to do that is to just focus on one thing. So for myself, I just focus on my breathing when I'm trying to get to sleep and I can't get there. Um, but even in my stretches, when I'm trying to promote some sleep, I will definitely just, just focus on your breathing, right? Try to quiet your mind. And I count, I count in my head, I count how many seconds it takes to breathe out and I count how many seconds it takes to breathe in. So that way my mind is focused only on my breathing and it helps me kind of shut everything out and it helps calm me down and help put, it, put me to sleep. <clears throat> but like yesterday, we're gonna start with a few dynamic movements, but not too many. First, I wanna warm up our necks. So we're gonna look side to side and then just keep the shoulders down. So you're gonna do a bunch here. You can honestly go as long as you are comfortable so long as you're breathing and you're working within your range of motion. You don't want to feel pain. Discomfort is good, but pain is not. Okay, and then once you do some side to side, <coughs> left and right with your neck, you're just going to do a few gentle semicircles down the middle. Okay, and I want you to really move slowly through your semicircles. Don't force it anywhere, but if you find a sticky spot, like a sticky spot, you're welcome to stay there and just wiggle around a bit, working through those strands of neck muscle that might need to be stretched out. Okay, from here, once you've done a couple of these, if you want to hold it over to one side for a little while, that's okay too. And then again, over to the other. And then from here, we're going to move to a tabletop position. So I wanted to warm up the neck because a few of these stretches does put, does allow, it, it, the warmer your neck is, the warmer your shoulders are, the easier these moves will be, the less pressure you're going to feel around them. So that's why I'm working with these specific dynamic movements. So you're going to go into a cat cow next. So you're in a tabletop position, knees are directly under the hips and hands under the shoulders. You're going to push into the floor, <coughs> round your back, and then lift the chest, or sorry, lift, yeah, lift the chest and lift the head, lifting your bum. So it's all about allowing your head to move with the movements as well. So remember you're looking up and then you're looking down. You're going to do five per direction here. You can hold them for longer periods than I am. Okay, and then once you do your five per up and down, you're going to look over your shoulder and you're going to think of squeezing your hip into your ribs. So I'm squeezing this distance, stretching out the opposite side. And then exhale to the other side, doing the same thing, squeezing into the side that you're looking over and stretching out this side here. <clears throat> so we're going to do a few back and forth. Once you've done a few, let's say five per direction, again, with these side to side movements, you're going to do circles with your spine if you're comfortable. So rounding out the spine and then lifting the tailbone, moving through a side to side motion. So I'll show you what it looks like in this, from this direction. Okay, so you're pushing side to side, arms are staying straight, but chest is still lifting up and down. Okay, and from the front, you'll notice again, I'm moving my hips very gently, but I'm focusing more on rotating through my spine and warming up gently through the spine. Okay, so you'll do five per direction on those as well. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to our stretches. The first stretch that we're gonna do is the two-legged forward fold. Okay, seated on the ground. All of these moves are gonna be seated or reclined because obviously we're trying to promote a feeling of sleep and <clears throat> working through insomnia or some anxiety, obviously. Okay, so if you have a strap, um, or a pillow as well. A pillow is a good thing for this exercise because especially if you can't reach the floor or your legs with your head, you want to be able to rest your forehead on something and bring you into that space where it's almost like you're going to sleep. So obviously stacking a pillow here in this general area is always recommended and if you need a strap to grab your feet, that's fine. But this is more of a passive stretch. We're trying to fall asleep here. So you don't have to use the strap. You don't have to flex your feet. Everything can be relaxed. <coughs> 
and you're just folding over okay so again if i wanted to really work myself into a sleepier state one i wouldn't have this giant light on but two using that pillow to rest my head on okay and these poses i want you to think about holding them for two three minutes at a time to help you get to that more calm mental state to help you get to sleep okay and again we're just folding forward relaxing the neck and shoulders down okay there is a lot of tension going through my upper back and my neck which is why we did those neck stretches earlier <clears throat> okay but so if you feel a lot of pain there or a lot of tension definitely put the block or a pillow or a couple blocks to help support your forehead so you're not getting so much tension through the neck and shoulders that's the first move we're going to do the second move you're going to you're going to do to help you um, get to sleep is this I don't know what the heck this move is called. I call it a Nike stretch because it looks like the Nike symbol. So you're gonna do this once per side, again, for two to three minutes per side. You can flex the foot or relax the foot because again, we're working through a passive stretch right now. And before we fold over, think of almost over rotating over your straight leg so that as you lean forward, you're very square over that leg. And then again, place the block or a pillow on top of your leg so that when you relax, you're able to reach that place. It does help you feel more relaxed when you're not holding yourself up. So when you can relax into the stretch, trust me, it's gonna feel so much better. And then again, we're gonna switch sides. So I'm obviously not doing the stretches for two and a half, two to three minutes with you guys because I don't want this to be a super long video, but do remember to do both sides. If you need to put something under your knee as well here to support you, like if your knee's all the way up here and you feel a lot of pressure, Put a block or some books underneath or a blanket to help support you here. Sorry, there was a loud sound there. The last move that helps me feel more... The last move that I want to share with you guys to help you perhaps get to sleep a little bit easier tonight or fight some of that insomnia is legs up the wall. So if you joined me yesterday and you watched my video, you already know what that is. If you did not, then I'm going to demonstrate it. If you don't have a wall that's clear, you can do this without a wall, like up against the bed or something. But obviously, the more supported your feet are, the easier, to, the better it might feel. Okay, so <clears throat> you're gonna come up next to your wall, lay on your back, and then swing your legs up. So you can flex the feet, your bum is directly up against the wall, so are your legs, and your arms can rest on your chest and your belly. And you're just gonna close your eyes and breathe. You can have a blanket or something on your feet to create a bit of weight. You're just going to close your eyes and rest. Another great place to go if you're feeling a little bit more ambitious is you can also splay the legs <laughs> as wide as you're comfortable. And this is another place that you can be. But for myself, when I'm trying to be more tired, I'll close the legs because opening the legs creates a little bit more stretch for me. So my body is keeping me more awake. <laughs> when you're ready to come down, you can slowly come out of the position and then make your way into bed. <laughs> Anyways, guys, that's it for today. I hope those moves were helpful. I know there's, I just, I don't want to overwhelm you guys with too much. So I just wanted to give you two or three moves to help you. And I hope they were helpful. And if they're not, then I'm sorry. And tell me what you want and I'll give it to you. You know what I mean? I'm always here to give you guys things that will benefit you. So if you have any recommendations or suggestions or, um, requests, let me know in the comments below. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great Sunday. I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in and I love you guys. Bye.